greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week 11. I'm back in my chair in the QI Tower. All right, guys, it's been a crazy week. I just came back from London, Istanbul. I hope you watched my Insta Live where I had intro music when I came on Insta Live. All right, guys, I've been back in the office. Um, going to Hong Kong very soon to spend more time with Dato Sri Vijay. I'm like a stalker, okay? Wherever Dato Sri Vijay goes, I stalk him to follow because I find it so important to be in the zone of your mentor, of your source of inspiration, all right? This is so important uh, on your journey, on your journey to financial freedom. You need to find that source of power, that source of inspiration and never never take it for granted and be very grateful if you have someone who's there for you on this journey and i'm so grateful to to dato sri vijay ishwaran truly grateful all right and this is week 11 guys and firstly ramadan karim to all my muslim brothers and sisters around the world i hope you have a beautiful month of ramadan all right but also remember the month of Ramadan is not the month to switch off. It is actually the month to stay switched on. So stay on track. Do your presentation. Do whatever it takes, all right, to keep the momentum going. I don't want you to lose the momentum in the month of Ramadan. But Ramadan Karim, please send my love to your family. Hug your kids from Uncle Chief. And please convey my respect to your parents on this beautiful month of Ramadan. Ramadan Karim, all right? Uh, and I'm sitting here in the office, I met a lot of people, I'm meeting more people after this, it's uh, 10.35 at night, okay, this is your chief, your upline, alright, representing the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, this is my commitment, this is my service to all of you guys, alright, and I'm loving it, okay, today I was just joking and saying, when will I retire? Never! All right, because I don't want to die of boredom. All right, I want to always, as Dato Sri Vijay says, live two minutes from the abyss. All right, life must either be a daring adventure or nothing at all. Helen Keller, the most inspirational quote I read when I was 17 years old. But today, I want to speak to you. If you're brand new, let me warn you. My message is going to be a bit heavy, okay? But I love you. I'm still your upline. I'm still your chief. For those of you all in the mid part of your journey, you need to hear this. And those of you who are, you know, building big and earning, you still need to hear this, all right? I'm slightly irritated, okay, with everyone around the world today because I think that the world itself has become soft. All right, that you guys have become wimps. Whether you know this or not, the greatest downfall of anyone on a journey of life is when they become a wimp. You know, they whine and they complain about everything in life. All right, and they become a, 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 a ball of negative energy. All right, so let's look back at your life. All right, you were born to great parents. We all love our mom and dad. But our mothers and fathers didn't exactly train us from the day we were born to be warriors, to be financially free. Our fathers didn't wake up in the morning and say, son or daughter, your purpose of life is to conquer the world. They didn't say that. So we grew up to very loving parents. Most of them were too soft on us. All right, we went through an education system which is a complete scam. The education system of any part of the world is to give knowledge but not to build warriors. You understand? You need to build warriors, okay? And then, all right, you went and got a degree which means nothing because it put you in a job that forces you to get up on Monday morning when you don't want to wake up, go to a place most probably you hate work for people you want to kill and earn peanuts and die broke. Okay, so that's a summary. And along that whole journey, all right, he, God, 
right, knocks you on your head and tries to wake you up, all right, tries to give you a feeling of sense of urgency, shows you what is possible out there, shows you more successful people, shows you a better life with the hope that you will dream and say, I want it. I want to go out there and conquer the world. I want that car. I want that house. I want that life. Instead, you sit down in your pathetic comfort zone and look at everything God shows you to inspire you. But you look at it and say, this is a movie. It's nice to watch, but I am comfortable where I am. And then thank God, one knock on your head worked the knock of QNet and somebody found you, you answered the call, you answered the WhatsApp, you sat down in a presentation and in a moment of uh, confusion, mental instability, insanity or pure positive passion, you said yes and you signed up. And then you watch the eight basic building block with this gorgeous, gorgeous, sexy Malaysian upline who told you the most important thing on this journey is block number one. That is the dream, the dream, the dream, the dream, the dream, the dream. And you took out a piece of paper and your upline told you, if you have all the time, all the money in the world, where would you live? What car would you drive? How, what would you do for your parents? What would you buy? And you wrote down a list of dreams. A list of dreams that came from a realization, a moment of, of a click. And then you took that dream. And I bet you, you didn't sleep that night. And you looked at that dream and you asked the question that everyone asked. All right, is it possible? And I asked Dato Sri Vijay the same question. I said, is it possible? And he looked at me straight in my eyes, all right, as my upline. With pure sincerity, I could see it in his eyes and said, yes, Patman, it's possible. All right? And I took that dream and I folded it and I kept it in my wallet throughout my journey. And I started a journey which I can summarize that you, some of you are starting this journey right now, which is going to be the greatest adventure of your life. It will have pain, happiness, Sorrow, joy, failure, success, love, loyalty, magic will happen, miracles will happen, all right? Disaster will happen. You will feel like giving up 3,788 times and you will not give up 3,788 times and that's what's going to take you to the point of success and financial freedom. And along this journey, you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make whether you're going to complain about everything, view everything as bad karma, why me, why did this happen, or you're just going to keep moving on and not be a wimp and be a warrior. Because I saw this on TikTok. The guy said, my grandfather walked 10 miles to work. My father walked five miles to work. I drive to work in a Cadillac. My son will drive to work in a Mercedes. My grandson will drive to work in a Ferrari. And my great-grandson will walk to work again. Because he said, all right, tough times create strong people and strong people will create easy times and easy times will create weak people and he said raise your children as warriors or not they will not survive this journey of life and i'm telling you today as your upline as your chief as your brothers as, as, as whoever you look and i represent the great ones the greatest warriors japa and dato sri vijay on this journey you have to be strong you have to be a warrior you have to decide whether the problems out there are bigger than your dream 
or your dream is always bigger than your problem and challenges. You got to decide not how great you celebrate your success, is how fast you recover from your failure. But you got to ask yourself, you got to take that piece of paper with your dreams today after this Wednesday message. Look at the dreams and ask yourself whether you're willing to die for it. Whether you're willing to pay any price for these dreams. Because the biggest, the saddest thing I've seen on my journey in 25 years is when people come to me with their dreams and they tell me, this is what I want, Chief. I'm willing to die for it. That's my mom. I want to buy her this house. That's my children. I want to give them the best education. That's for my wife or my husband. This is for me. This is for my father. This is for my community. And after six months, the same guy comes to me and said, I can do it, I want to quit. And I said, no reason. Because of some rejection. Because he didn't hit his TAT for three weeks. Because of some newspaper article. Because of some, you know, a government who doesn't understand network marketing. Or because of the opinions of morons that he surrounds himself with. This is your life. I did not make it here. Because... I am smarter than you. Oh, I am a greater networker than you. I made it here because my upline, my mentor, did not raise a wimp. He raised a warrior. He told me, he prepared me for this journey. And he says, this journey is going to knock you down, Patman. And it's not how hard they knock you down. It's whether it's your ability to take that punch to take that pain and then rise again and get up again and keep moving and moving and moving and yes, you are allowed to be negative. We are human. You are allowed to feel like giving up. You are human. But that moment of negativity, that feeling of giving up cannot last more than two minutes. Because if it lasts more than two minutes, it will turn a warrior into a wimp. And to turn a wimp into a warrior it's tough work, guys. Are you guys with me? So erase the excuses. Get rid of it. You want this. I didn't call you. We are providing you with the greatest opportunity of entrepreneurship ever on this planet. Screw all the people who attack, vilify, criticize who we are. We have been around for 25 freaking years and we're going to be around for the next 25 and the next 25 and the next 25 because of Japa and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwar. So stop listening to the morons. Stop living a life of excuses. If you really want it, then get off your ass and do it. This is your God-given right. That you owe it to your parents, you owe it to your children, you owe it to yourself to at least give 100% every day. And if it gets too tough, find somebody who will slap you and wake you up and keep going and never give up. Because this is not about network marketing. This is not about the industry. This is about you, your dream, your journey of life. You don't want to die a nobody. You don't want your children to think you are mediocre or a loser. You want your children to walk around proud knowing that their mother, their father are warriors who had no fear, who didn't complain, who didn't allow negativity into the house more than two minutes. That they changed the world. They broke the chain of poverty of the next generation and the next generation. That's what you need to do. So wake up. Week 11, you decided. Now keep that decision alive. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. You know what you can do and then do much more. If you're doing four presentations this week, do eight. If your TAT is $2,000, push it to $3,000. But in life, you can have dreams or you can have excuses, but you cannot have both. So choose who you are. Are you a man, a woman who live life of excuses? Or are you a warrior who lives a life as a dreamer? Are you with me? I love you guys.